and we've had these idealistic bodies shoved in our faces from the first minute you picked up a Barbie or an action man you had this chiselled body at such a young age um, so you just feel like the body that you have isn't what is desirable A little over a year ago I had a very rigid perception of body image um, which negatively affected my mental health. This was mainly down to entering the queer community. I saw this, it's known as the queer iceberg, where you have all of these perfect, muscular, cisgendered white men at the top and that is what everyone needs to aspire to. And the representation from everyone else just was non-existent. Um, so I felt like to be accepted and to be desired, I had to become one of those people. And I spent so much of my time at the gym and trying to get my body to a certain place. And I thought I was happy, but I wasn't. I felt desired, but my mental health was in pieces in reality. So yeah, spending all my time focusing on being desirable wasn't healthy for me at all. My journey to changing my view about my body started um, throughout the wonderful lockdown. Um, I was no longer able to go to the gym and I started to gain quite a lot of weight. I was comfort eating. I was worried I was no longer going to be desired. Um, and it's suddenly something like snapped. I was like, why is that my concern? Why is my primary concern that I'm no longer going to be desired? Why is that what my happiness is dependent on? And um, it just kind of like changed from there. I realized that I could be truly happy with who I was. I could continue being just as happy, if not more so, without adhering to the body standards that have been set for us. And now I just feel like fully at peace with who I am. And it's one of the most liberating feelings I've ever had. Today, I would describe my relationship with my body as being I would say I'm just truly at one with my body. Um, I'm very accepting and I'm very, I'm very grateful for what my body does for me. I focus a lot more on, you know, the air that I breathe, the, the food that I intake, and I'm just grateful for my body's functions and for the fact that I'm alive rather than like punishing myself for it not looking a certain way. So I'd say that I've grown to have a healthy relationship with my body. It's, of course, I still have bad days. I, I'll still have the odd day where I maybe feel a little bit self-conscious, but they're in comparison to how it was when I was working out all the time, I get a lot less self-conscious, which you wouldn't think would be the case, but being a one with your body means that you no longer really care what other people think about. I've had a multitude of reactions to my change in body image. Um, the majority of them, the vast majority of them have been amazing. I've noticed a complete shift in the DMs that I get, the comments that I get, it's all focused on almost like thanking me. I get so many messages a day that are just thanking me for the representation I bring into body image, for the things I do for mental health. And it's, it's one of the most humbling things is when someone thanks you for what you do. Um, of course I get the odd, you know, person who's criticising me um, for the way that my body's changed and for what they almost like call me lazy. Um, and some people say I shouldn't give them attention and I don't, I block them. But I then use that message that they've sent me and use it in a post to basically show people that you will still get messages like this, but you can still love yourself at the same time. I would say that my favourite part of my body is my butt, only because I'm quite a proud bottom and it's just, I don't know, it just, I just feel, it helps me to feel sexy. Um, it's quite hard to explain without sounding arrogant. I'm aware that I don't have, you know, a dump truck behind me, <laughs> but I still, I know, it's just like my little confidence boost. And that's why I, I like to quite often wear like sexy underwear just for myself, like under my normal clothes, I wear some sexy underwear because it makes me feel sexy. And to quote Little Mix, I'm sexiest when I'm confident. So the part of my body that I learned to love is probably going to be like 
my tummy and like my lower back, my love handles. Um, I think my love handles were the part of the body that I hated the most, only because you can hold your stomach in, um, but you couldn't do anything with love handles. And I remember one of my biggest goals when I was at the gym was to get rid of them. And I, for six months straight, I did abs every single day and they were finally gone. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so happy. Um, and I remember when they came back and I was like, I worked so hard um, for nothing. And now I'm just like, why? Like, I'm, I'm just so at peace with them being there. Like, it's just part of my body. And pretty much everyone has them. So I'd say my love handles. So for anyone that is struggling to love the skin that they're in, I would say the best thing to do is to just ask yourself why that is. Um, when you ask yourself that question and you go deeper and deeper into it, you realise that it isn't your issue, it's a societal issue. You'll start to realise that the reason that you struggle with your body image is because the body that you have hasn't been represented and we've had these idealistic bodies shoved in our faces from the first minute you picked up a Barbie or an action man, you had this chiselled body at such a young age. Um, so you just feel like the body that you have isn't what is desirable. So as long as you ask yourself why, you'll realise that it's, it's, not, it's not your problem and you're beautiful as you are. <laughs>